Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Today we're going to continue talking about. Barbecue Champ. Yeah.、Uh, this is a TV show on TLC, one of the documentary channels on cable television. Maybe、uh-huh. some of you still watch TV. I'm not quite sure, but in any case, I understand these cooking shows are quite popular. They are competitions in which people compete against each other to present or to make the great the greatest dish that the judges like. And、uh, so one of these has to do with barbecues, because I guess barbecues are quite popular、mm. in the UK. I did not know that, but on the other hand, I'm not surprised because barbecues are quite enjoyable. It's a good excuse to get outside and enjoy the great outdoors, and mingle with your friends, and maybe make some new friends, and enjoy some tasty food at the same time. Yeah, I particularly love barbecue.、Uh, there are some great barbecue places around here in Taiwan. Restaurants, if you don't want to cook it yourself, or、um, just wait around for Moon Festival. And、yeah. there are a lot of barbecues that are happening at that point. I love the barbecue that they do here with the sauce that you can buy at the grocery store、right. and put on the meat. That's really good. Love barbecue. I've heard there's some problem though because、uh, some of the ways of cooking the food can、yeah. be kind of bad for your health. Or something like that. Oh,、so. if you cook it too long and it gets charred, which is、yeah. my favorite part, I have to admit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've also had some complaints about the actual equipment、oh. that it's not uh, uh, not the best kind of materials and stuff like that.、Mm. Hopefully, things have improved. Watch out, because the barbecue tradition is not going to go away anytime soon here in Taiwan.、Mm. And barbecues are also becoming more popular in the rest of the world, including the UK. So we've got this show that、uh, they've got an American judge there and a British judge.、Mm. And we've got different contestants who compete against each other,、uh, and、uh, I guess each week they eliminate one of the contestants、uh-huh. until one person gets that trophy、Ta-da! and becomes the champion. So exciting! So it's a cooking show that combines cooking with competition, which is my favorite kind of show. I'll be honest; I love cooking shows. Right now, though, guys, we're going to read through today's article. As the judges observe each contestant's progress, they notice two people taking the lead. Duncan is making banoffee pie, a sweet dessert made with bananas, cream, and toffee, and a grilled pineapple mojito. Simon is grilling peaches with a salted caramel and chocolate cream, which will be served with a smoked grapefruit cocktail. In the end, Simon comes out on top. With his luxurious peaches and cream dish, the second challenge is called low and slow, as the meat has to cook over low temperatures for over five hours. The contestants are divided into teams, each of which has to prepare, cook, and smoke more than eleven kilograms of meat. To start, they add a dry rub to their beef, pork, and lamb ribs. This fragrant blend of spices flavors the meat, keeps it moist, and creates a bark or a crusty outer layer on top. Served with three side dishes, the meals must satisfy more than 100 hungry London workers on their lunch break. Fortunately, both teams pull it off. The judges, however, are not so easy to please. Team Slow, with its fall off the bone ribs and tangy, juicy sides. Comes out victorious. On Team Low, two of the participants, Emma and Gary, have dry and undercooked meats and sides, meaning they'll go on to compete in the grill off, the third and final challenge. They go head to head, grilling three different cuts of steak to the right temperature with the perfect sauce. They're both faced with the toughest task yet, and only one of the contestants. Will successfully keep their spot in the competition. Tune in to Barbecue Champ on TLC this August to find out who prevails and who goes up in flames. The time has now come for us to talk about today's lesson in detail. Again, Barbecue Champ turns up the heat. These contestants are under a lot of pressure. And remember, last time we said that they were supposed to make some kind of dessert. Uh huh. 
And they were supposed to have a cocktail along with it, so I assume that's what they're doing here. And as the judges observe each contestant's progress, they notice two people taking the lead. Okay, so they've got a number of people preparing certain kinds of dishes, and the judges are observing their progress. You know, they're just kind of watching them and、yep. seeing what they're doing and stuff like、yep. that. But they notice that hey, two of the people, two of the contestants, are kind of getting ahead. They are taking the lead. If you take The lead that means you are now in front,、uh, especially if it's a running race.、Uh, someone is running, say the uh, uh, the ten thousand meters or something like that. Somebody passes the front runner, and that person takes the lead. They become the leader. Yeah, after they take the lead or overtake or get in front of people, they're in the lead. So there are two people that are in the lead now. We've got Duncan and Simon. Duncan is making. Uh, something we call we're making up this word. This isn't a real word. It's banoffee pie.、Mm. So it's bananas and toffee together. You can make up words if you want. If you're cute, people will like it.、Uh, banoffee pie, a sweet dessert made with bananas, cream, and toffee. Toffee is a wonderful candy. It's made with lots of butter and sugar, and it's delicious. It's kind of like caramel, very similar to caramel. Uh, we're gonna get to caramel in a minute.、Mm. So bananas cream. Cream is made with milk, and you whip it until it's yummy, and you put some sugar in it, of course, and vanilla to flavor it. And then he's got a drink. His cocktail is a grilled pineapple mojito. I don't know what a mojito is. I know that they're popular these days, but it's a cocktail. Do you know what it is?、Uh, I looked it up actually.、Uh, it's a, a cocktail. It's a Cuban cocktail made with、uh, white rum. And mint,、oh. and、uh, soda, and other kinds of things. I forgot what the other ingredients were.、Uh, soda water, were, carbonated, carbonated water, or soda water, lime or lemon juice. Sugar, There you go, mint, lemon、ice. juice, lime juice, etc.、Yeah. Those are all the ingredients. That sounds pretty tart, pretty tasty. Notice and- it's not mojito, guys. It's a Spanish, so it's mojito, mojito. Yeah, J in Spanish, of course, is a、uh, sound,、uh, depending <laughs> where it is in the sentence. But in any case, here, yes,、uh, they've got a little piece of grilled pineapple. With、mm. this cocktail, the whole cocktail itself is not grilled. The pineapple is grilled. Yeah, yum. And Simon is grilling peaches with a salted caramel and chocolate cream. Yum. Which will be served with a smoked grapefruit cocktail. So that's the cocktail he's making. Ji Wei Jo is cocktail, and so he's grilling peaches. Peaches, of course, are a kind of fruit.、Uh, peaches, yeah, peaches here in Taiwan. I think、yes. most of them are they imported.、Do. But oh, they do. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I don't think they grow them here, but they definitely sell them.、I've、I remember them. I had a craving for a peach many years、yeah. ago, and I went to a fruit store, and I went, "Wow, you really want that much money for a peach?" Yeah, they're expensive here, huh? Yeah, I guess they probably are imported. Oh, they might come from、uh, Li Shan. They might、Townsend. have some peaches from there. I'm not quite、Boy. sure, but in any case, we've got this、mm. word caramel here or caramel.、Uh, that's one of those words that is pronounced differently by people depending on where they're from. Yeah. I don't even remember what I said when I was a kid. I think we said caramel,、yeah. caramel apples,、uh, is what we used to have, especially at、uh, Halloween. Halloween are good, yeah.、Uh, huh. Exactly. This、uh, it's like、uh, I guess you take、uh, some kind of syrup or sugar and you heat it up until it turns kind of brown, and so it come kind of becomes this very sweet sauce, and you can put it on apples or other things.、It's、my favorite thing. It's my favorite. I like it more、caramel. than chocolate. I love caramel. Oh, you do? Okay. Yes, I and, can make it. Yeah, I was gonna say caramel. I guess you say caramel.、Mm-hmm. Some people say caramel. Yeah.、Uh, both pronunciations are correct. It looks more like caramel, to be honest. It does.、Yeah. But、uh, we grew up saying caramel, so caramel apples.、Uh, they're、yeah. both cool.、Uh, so salted caramel. What they do is they add some salt into that sweet, and there's nothing better than salt and sweet together,、okay. and chocolate cream. And we've got a smoked grapefruit cocktail. They add that flavor of smoke into the the cocktail. Great. Fruit is one of my favorite things in the whole world, and you guys have great grapefruit here that I eat in the morning. Now, in the end, Simon comes out on top, so that means he wins. If you come out on top, or if you come out on bottom,、uh, on the bottom, come out on the bottom. We actually say come out,、uh, fell to the bottom, come out on the bottom,、mm. but you come out on top、uh, means you win. 
Uh, mm. Do we ever say "come out on the top"? No, we have to say "come out on top." So be careful with that one.、Uh, he won because he had this luxurious peaches and cream dish. <laughs> sounds so good. I can't stand it. My mouth is watering. It sounds so delicious. Now, luxurious means extremely elegant. Sometimes expensive. Most of the time, it's a little more expensive than other things. If you have a luxurious apartment, you're probably paying a lot of money for it. It's very Comfortable, fancy, expensive.、Uh, yeah, how jai?、Uh, I would say、yeah. luxury apartment.、Uh, luxury、uh, describes something that、uh, rich people like to buy to let、mm-hmm. other people know that they've got the money to money. buy those things, like a luxury car. But the adjective is luxurious.、Uh, a luxury apartment will be very luxurious inside,、oh, yeah. with lots of fancy furniture and stuff like that. But this、mm-hmm. particular dessert has peaches and cream. It does sound indeed very luxurious, very tasty.、And I'd like to have some of that myself here. Totally. So Simon won that contest.、Mm-hmm. Now the second challenge in the next paragraph here, the second challenge、uh-huh. is called low and slow. That's what they're calling this particular、mm-hmm. contest, this、yep. competition, this challenge, as the meat has to cook over low temperatures for over five hours. Now barbecue itself requires the meat to be cooked. Over slow temperatures, slower than other temperatures, right? That's why barbecues are kind of special. They give that kind of flavor because of the slower cooking times or the longer cooking times. But this one is over long, low temperatures, over five hours. My goodness, who's got time to wait? I'm not going to sit around wasting for barbecued chicken for five hours. But I guess it、uh, presents a very special flavor no, there. No, it makes the meat tender. I wanted to explain something to you guys. Bar. Barbecue isn't exactly what we call it here in Taiwan. Barbecue in America means you add a sauce that's tangy. You cook it for a long time at low temperature. If you grill meat, is what they do here. Grill. Okay.、Uh, it's more of a short time. You could put a sauce on it, but it's very quick. But if we barbecue, it's slow and it takes a long time, and the meat is very tender. Now the contestants are divided into two teams. So if you're divided, it means you take one thing. And you、uh, put you put it into different parts or sections. For example,、um, I like to divide up my apartment into two areas. So there are two areas, not just one. It's one, but I have put a little、uh, screen in front of one of the parts. So divide up into or divide it into. Mm. Like、uh, when I worked at a pizza restaurant, of course, after the pizza comes out of the oven, you need to divide the pizza into eight pieces or twelve pieces, or slices, yeah,、uh, or yeah, slices,、uh, depending on whether it's a small pizza or a large one, etc. So yes, they're divided into different pieces. But here,、uh, the contestants are divided into teams. They take teams, and each of these teams has to prepare, cook, and smoke. More than 11 kilograms of meat, and I think if you smoke something, that means you cook it with the smoke from the fire. I guess it gives it a、Coming、special flavor it,、yeah. or something like it that. It does. We'll continue talking about this in just a second. Stay tuned, and now listen to our Chinese teacher. Hello, everyone. My name is Tina. 我们来看一下今天课文的第一个句子写着 As the judges observe each contestant's progress, they notice two people taking the lead. 我们来看一下在这里的观察，我们使用的动词叫做 observe。后面句子的动词 notice 就是指注意到。当我们讲到注意到某人做了怎么样的动作，我们就可以用 notice 加上受。词再加上 v i n g 来表示主动的意味。举个例子来说 ，I noticed him winking at his brother. 我注意到他对他的弟弟呢眨眼示意。而在这里，评审注意到两个人是处于领先的地位。要注意哦，在这里用的是 taking taking the lead。代表就是处于领先的地位 ，lead 用来当做是名词，就是领先地位的意思。Our team was in the lead at half time， 指的呢就是我们的队伍在前半场是领先的地位的。这一段的最后一句提到 ，In the end, Simon comes out on top with his luxurious peaches and cream dish. 
。到最后 ，in the end， Simon 呢，他以奢华的水蜜桃鲜奶油料理来拔得头筹。在这里，我们用 come out 来代表结果是怎么样。举个例子来说，在这个阶段呢，是不可能判断选举的结果的。你就可以说 ，It's impossible at this stage to judge how the vote will come out. Come out 就可以代表着是结果是怎么样。A luxurious 则是形容词，代表着奢侈的意思。有些人喜欢买名牌包包，我们会说他有着奢侈的爱好。你就可以说 luxurious tastes。接着我们继续来看到，在第二段的第二个句子写着 ：The contestants are divided into teams, each of which has to prepare. Air, cook, and smoke more than eleven kilograms of meat. 在这里看到的是这些参赛者呢会被分成几支队伍。Be divided into 就是分成几个队伍或是组别，都可以使用这样的动词片语。后面要注意的是一个文法的问题。我们打上逗号 ，each of which which 呢代替的呢是在这队伍当中的每一个参赛者。在这里，如果呢要用。代名词才能够把前后两个句子连接在一起。如果你不用关系代名词，就必须要说逗号 and each of them。要注意到这两者之间的差别。他们的工作呢，就是要准备烹调，甚至是烟熏超过十一公斤重的肉。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We're talking about Barbecue Champ turns up the heat. Barbecue Champ is a show on TLC, and it's got two judges,、um, Adam and Mark, who are judging the different contestants. And each week, one contestant is eliminated or sent home because they failed to be the best that week. So we're talking about、uh, one particular contest or challenge where we've got Duncan and Simon who. Are making a dessert with a cocktail. Simon Simon comes out on top or wins because he's got the better dish. Now the second challenge in that particular episode is called low and slow. Low temperatures, the heat is low, and slow means you're cooking it for a long time, and the meat has to cook、uh, for over. Four, oh, five hours! Wow, that's a long time.、Mm. Over very low temperatures, what it does is it makes the meat、uh, just really take in all of that、uh, barbecue taste and smell. There's smoke. Plus, it makes the meat tender and soft. And、uh, here it says they need to cook quite a lot of meat. They、mm. need to cook and prepare and smoke more than eleven kilograms、That's、of meat.、Lot. That sounds like a lot <laughs> to me. I guess they're going to feed an army or something like that, or at、yeah. least、uh, maybe some people、feed、on people their lunch, lunch break or something. Yeah, yeah there you go. Maybe a hundred people. Oh, a hundred people. Oh、okay. yeah. And to start, they add a dry rub to their beef, pork,、mm. and lamb ribs. Okay, these are ribs. That's from the、uh, ribs, which are bones in the chest. Of the animals that they're cooking, the meat of which they're cooking, beef is from a cow, pork from a pig, and lamb ribs, of course, are from lambs.、Uh, in this case, they're. Doing something called dry rubbing. Okay, I guess、oh, that、yeah. means they kind of prepare the meat ahead of time by putting some kind of、uh, preparation into the meat. Yeah, but it's, it? it's not liquid; it's dry rub. So they take spices, which are all dry, like powder, right?、Mm -hmm. And they take it in their hands and they rub that powder into the meat、uh, before they put it into cook. That's dry rub. It's different from barbecue sauce, which is liquid.、Okay. And dry rub is very popular in the barbecue world. So they add that dry rub to their Their beef, pork, and lamb ribs. Lambs are baby sheep. Lamb is a baby sheep, so remember that. So、okay. this fragrant blend of spices flavors the meat. It also keeps it moist and creates a bark,、uh, which is an interesting term. I've never heard bark used for barbecue, but that's the crusty or. 
crunchy, crispy outer layer, which is my favorite part. Now, if it's fragrant, it smells good. Fragrant is an adjective we use to describe something that smells good, not bad. Don't use fragrant if you're talking about something that's bad. It smells terrible. That's an odor that smells bad. A blend is when you take different things and mix them together. So they've got different spices being mixed together to come up with a dry rub, and that keeps it moist. Moist is a word we use to talk about something that's a little bit wet, not completely soaked through, but it's a little bit wet, slightly wet.、Um, maybe after、uh, it rains at night, you wake up in the morning and the grass is moist, still a little、mm. bit wet. And what it does is it creates this. Crusty or crispy outer layer on top of the meat.、Uh, they're calling it a bark. Bark is what we call the outside of a tree, right? It's、yep. kind of funny to call it a bark, but that's cute.、Um, that's what they'd say in the barbecue world. Ooh, it's got a nice bark to it. Well, basically, bark is a crusty outer layer. It's kind of、uh, crunchy, yeah. And that, of course, is on top. So that's after the dry rub and served with three side dishes.、Mm-hmm. The meals must satisfy more than one hundred. Hungry London workers on their lunch break. So just like here in Taiwan, when people reach the twelve o'clock time day, noon time, it's time to head out and have something to eat, to chow down and get some lunch. So、yeah. these are people, office workers, probably in London.、Yeah. Uh, they've been sitting behind their computer terminals all morning long. They are starving. They are famished. So they're very hungry and they want to eat this、uh, food that they've been、uh, preparing here.、Uh, it needs to satisfy. Satisfy their appetite.、Uh, these, of course, have to be served with side dishes, and、uh, we mentioned that before. Remember, we talked about trimmings. Yeah.、Uh, barbecue meat with all the trimmings that would be referring to the side dishes. It could be mashed potatoes, coleslaw, corn, or whatever. So they have to have these side dishes, and these hungry London workers need to be satisfied. They need to be ready to go back to the office feeling totally satisfied. Oh, that was such a good meal. I'm ready to go back to work. Fortunately, both teams pull it off. Pull something off is a verb phrase that means you're successful at doing something.、Um, I was asked to organize a party, and it took a lot of planning, and it was a lot of work, but we managed to pull it off. The party was successful. Well, the judges, however, are not so easy to please. That's Adam and Mark. Team Slow. They gave both the teams names. <laughs> half of the name was Team Slow, and half of the Name was Team Low. Team Slow had its fall off the bone ribs and tangy, juicy sides, and they came out victorious. Fall off the bone. When you cook ribs, you want the meat to actually just fall off the bone. You don't need to cut it; it just is so tender, it just falls off. That's the most successful barbecue meat you can have. And we've got tangy, juicy sides, kind of tart. It comes out victorious. Victorious. Tart and sweet is tangy. Tart There and sweet. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And victorious means you've won. To emerge victorious, to to come out victorious, basically、yeah. just means to win. And on Team Low, two of the participants, Emma and Gary, have dry and undercooked meats and sides, meaning they'll go on to compete in the grill off,、mm. the third and final challenge. So I guess they've got、uh, something that doesn't. Sound too good here? They're dry and undercooked meats. The、Yuck. meat did not cook very well.、Uh, they undercooked it; is probably still a little bit raw. The side dishes are not so great either. So they're going to compete in something called the grill off, which is the third and final challenge. And they go head to head, grilling three different cuts of steak to the right temperature with the perfect sauce. So they're going head to head. That means one against the other one. I guess Emma and Gary are going to be competing. Uh, against each other, head to head, one on one. Notice it's called grill off. You'll often see、uh, names cook off, bake off. Those are competitions, and so grill off is kind of a cute take on cook off or bake off. So they have to go head to head, grilling three different piece、uh, cuts or pieces of steak, different、uh, types of steak, to the right temperature with a perfect sauce. That's the whole point of a steak. You have to cook it to the right temperature, rare. Medium, medium rare, you know, medium well. They're both faced with the toughest or hardest 
hardest task yet, and what is that?、Um, cooking those steaks to the right temperature with the perfect sauce. Not everybody likes steak sauce,、uh, mm. but there's a restaurant here that I like, Texas Roadhouse. They have mushrooms and this、uh, pepper sauce that I love. So sometimes you can get the perfect sauce. That is their challenge. So only one of them will be successful, and one of them will have to go home because each week one contestant is eliminated. We're talking about keeping their spot or place in the competition. A competition is just a, a contest between peoples, and usually one person wins at the end. You have to keep their position or their、yeah. spot in the competition in the contest, and tune in to Barbecue Champ on TLC this August. Hey, it's August right now. It's probably on TV right now as we speak. So tune in, turn on your TV, and check out the show, and see and find out who prevails. And who goes up in flames? If you prevail, that means you emerge victorious.、Uh, you're more powerful than the other people. You are the victor, and the other ones have been defeated. You prevail. You continue, and the other one, of course, is going to go up in flames, which、uh, can be used to describe something burning down. Basically, the hotel went up in flames, for example. But in this particular case, it just means that person is out of the competition. Yeah, go up in flames.、Uh, really. You know, just crash and burn. That's another phrase we use. If you crash and burn, you really、um, are very unsuccessful. So right now, guys, someone who's always successful and never crash and burns is our Chinese teacher. Let's listen now. 接着我们来看到，在第三段的第一个句子提到 ，Fortunately, both teams pull it off. 在这里看到 pull off 就是有成功完成的意思。The plan was difficult and risky, but we pulled it off. 也就是代表着这个计划非常的困难又危险，但是我们成功的完成了。要特别把这个片语 pull off 背下来。接着我们来看到最后的两一个句子。They are both faced with the toughest task yet, and only one of the contestants will successfully keep their spot in the competition. 在这里讲到了最后的两个团队 ，Team Slow 跟 Team Low， 他们所面对的呢，大概都是有史以来最棘手的任务。而 only one of the contestants， 只有一个呢，可以 keep their spot spot。当然指的就是位置喽，能够在比赛当中保留他的位置不被淘汰，赢得冠军奖杯。Competition 在这里代表着就是比赛、竞赛的意思，当然也可以延伸出来是一种竞争角逐。举例来说 ，competition among youth to enter the best college is intense. 代表着年轻人想要进入呢这个一流大学的竞争是非常激烈的。可以搭配 intense 来指这个竞争非常的激烈。最后一句 ，Tune in to Barbecue Champ on TLC this August to find out who prevails and who goes up in flames. 在这里我们讲到呢，要收听收看什么频道，就可以说 Tune in to。那么要记得这个八月呢，收看 TLC 频道的金牌烤肉家，来看出来 who prevails。在这里的 prevail 就是有战胜、优胜的意思。我们常常说善良将会战胜邪恶，你就可以说 Good will prevail over evil。而如果是输的人，他就只好 goes up in flames 来搭配这样子烤肉的背景，就只好被火给烧掉，就惨败的意思喽。OK， 以上呢就是今天的课文讲解，谢谢收听。That's it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We deeply appreciate it, and we'd appreciate it even more if you decide to join us again next time. So please do so. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.